Hello everyone, I am Ashwini, Assistant Professor, Department of CSE AML at MLR Institute of Technology. Welcome back to another session of Artificial Intelligence. In this today's session, we are going to learn about Bayes Theorem. Let's see the overview of this, uh, today's session, Bayes Theorem and we will see the algorithms, how we, the formula has derived and advantages and disadvantages of Bayes Theorem. Let's see the introduction about the Bayes Theorem. The Bayes theorem was developed by mathematician Thomas Bayes in the year 19, uh, 1763. So, this theorem provides a mathematical model for reason where prior beliefs are combined with evidence to get uh, estimates of uncertainty. So, by using this Bayes theorem, we can find out the uncertainty using the prior information as well as the new information or piece of evidence, we can uh, derive the uncertainty of a knowledge. It relates the conditional probability and probabilities of events H and E. What is H and E? We will see. This approach relies on the concept that one should incorporate prior probability of an event into the interpretation of new situation. Already said prior probability and with the evidence it will be find out the uncertainty of an of knowledge. So, Bayes theorem relates the conditional probabilities of an event which allows us to express probability of H given E. We will call this as a probability of H given E in terms of probabilities of E given H, probability of E and probability of H. So, here H denotes a hypothesis, the assumption, while E represent a new piece of evidence. We can't assume a such a knowledge simply. We have, if you are saying something hypothetically, then we need to show some uh, evidence to uh, prove that that hypothesis is uh, true. So, the relation can be written as probability of H given E equivalent to probability of E given H into probability of H divided by probability of E. Let us see how it will be derived. So, probability of H given E equivalent already we have seen in the previous session probability of H given E equal to probability of H and E divided by probability of E. So, we are taking this probability of E in the left side, then it will be probability of H given E into probability of E equal to probability of H and E. Similarly, we will write the formula for probability of E given H, then it will be probability of E given H into probability of H equivalent to probability of E and H. So, this probability of uh, uh, H and E and probability of E and H are equal, then we can equivalent these two also. Then probability of H given E into probability of E equivalent to probability of E given H into probability of H. Then we, we obtain that probability of H given E equivalent to probability of E given H into probability of H divided by probability of E. This is the base theorem. This is the formula for base theorem. Next, further we can also express the probability of uh, H given E in terms of probabilities E given H, E given negation H and probability of H. We need in addition to prior probability of H, two conditional probabilities, probability of E given H and probability of E given negation H, which indicates how probable our piece of evidence is depending on whether our theory is true or not true. Now, we can express this as probability of H given E equivalent to probability of E given H into probability of H divided by probability of E in the terms of probability of E given H into probability of H plus probability of E given negation H into probability of negation H. Let us see these two and here negation H and H then remains the probability of E. Let us see the algorithm for this, how it will be derived. So, probability of E, we already know probability of E given H into probability of H plus probability of E given negation H into probability of negation H. So, we know that probability of E equivalent to probability of E and H plus probability of E and negation H. 
So, using conditional probability, probability of E and H and probability of E and negation H, the formulas are. So, when we take this uh, probability of E, how it is derived by using these formulas. Next, substituting this uh, probability of E is, we will get this formula, probability of H given E equal to probability of E given H into probability of H divided by probability of E given H into probability of H plus probability of E given negation H into probability of negation H. So, what is the probability of H means? It is known as a prior probability of H. It is called prior because it does not consider any information regarding E. It uh, only knows H. So, we call it as prior probability. Probability of H given E is known as a conditional probability of H given E. It is also called posterior probability because it is the combination of prior probability and with evidence. Then we call it as posterior probability because it is derived from R depends on the specified value of E evidence. Probability of E given H is known as the conditional probability of E given H. Probability E is the prior probability of E and act as a normalizing constant. Let us see the advantages and disadvantages of the Bayesian method. So, Bayesian networks are useful for both the inferential exploration of previously undetermined relationships among variables and discrimination descriptions of these relationships upon discovery. So, what are the advantages? It is used on a strong theoretical foundation in probability theory. It is currently most advances of all certain reasoning methods to find out this uncertainty in the knowledge will use this base. Bayesian method. This method has well defined semantics for decision making. Let us see disadvantages. So, the system using Bayesian approach needs a quite large amount of probability data to construct a knowledge base. This is one of the disadvantages in Bayesian method. In spite of this Bayesian method, we are also having the so many advanced methods to find out the uncertainty in the knowledge. In that, some of them are Bayesian belief networks, certainty factor theory and dempster Schaffer theory. We will see this in the next sessions. So, in this today's session, we have seen Bayes theorem. So, what is the Bayes theorem? Why it is important and uh, what is the purpose of Bayes theorem? And we have seen how we have derived that uh, um, formulas for Bayes theorem and advantages of uh, Bayes theorem, advantages and disadvantages advantages and disadvantages of base theorem thank you